Berlin-based startup is offering to freeze your body after death for a fee of nearly 2 crore rupees with the hope that future science might one day bring you back. The idea sounds straight out of a sci-fi script but the company Tomorrow.bio, which is reportedly Europe's first cryonics lab, claims that this is real and has nearly 700 people already signed up. But why is it so expensive? Because for nearly $200,000, the firm offers full body cryopreservation, preserving the human body right after legal death using advanced techniques designed to maintain the body for potential future revival. Cryopreservation is the process of preserving biological material like cells, tissues or organs at extremely low temperatures, typically using liquid nitrogen to maintain viability for later use. The process involves careful selection and preparation of the sample, addition of cryoprotective agents or CPAs to prevent ice crystal formation, controlled cooling, storage and then thawing when needed. Tomorrow.bio runs a 24-7 emergency response team that is dispatched as soon as a patient is near death. Once a doctor officially declares the person dead, the team begins the preservation process, cooling the body and circulating cryoprotective fluids to prevent damage caused by freezing. The process takes place inside custom ambulances, retrolifted not just for transport but for this very specific procedure. The company's co-founder Emil Kenziora is a former cancer researcher who turned to cryonics after becoming frustrated with how slowly medicine was progressing. Now his company is focused on what he describes as preserving possibilities, not just for people. So far, Tomorrow.bio claims to have cryopreserved three or four people and five pets. In 2025, they plan to expand operations across the US. But for all the curiosity, there's no scientific proof yet that this works. No human or any organism with a brain as complex has ever been successfully revived after cryopreservation. Neuroscientists warn that even if revived were possible, the risk of returning with severe brain damage remains high. Still, Tomorrow.bio remains optimistic. One of the case studies that inspires Tomorrow.bio is that of Anna Bagenholm, a woman who was clinically dead for two hours after falling into icy water during a ski trip in Norway in 1999 and survived. Another was a 2023 case study from the University of Minnesota where scientists successfully cryopreserved rat kidneys for 100 days then revived and transplanted them. But while preserving organs is one thing, preserving and reviving the human brain remains a much bigger leap. Whether the science ever lives up to its promise is still unclear.